10 more answers to your questions, plus a little advice on how to get your desired results away. Hello, welcome to Falling Star Tarot. Are you new? Subscribe to catch me again. Returning, thanks for supporting the channel and thanks for all the participation and clicking efforts. Ask any question. This week's reading is all about questions and simple answers, but keep in mind that none of these answers are set in stone. I highly recommend allowing me to give you individual guidance. If you want a personal reading, click the link below or reach out to me. For this pick a card reading, I'd like you to choose a number from 0 through 9. Alternatively, you can choose to pause the video here and jot down 10 questions. I am going to try to go through these quicker than last time, so be ready with those questions. If you need to pause, meditate, choose the pile that is standing out to you or use the oracle to help you decide. As always, please take what resonates and leave the rest. You are responsible for your decisions. Those of you still with me, you may notice some changes to the channel. I am trying to find what works best for my viewers, so let me know either in the comment section or suggested box below anything you'd like to see in the future. Directions for the oracle? As this oracle plays, just press to pause and reveal the number of the pile you are meant to watch. Try multiple times if you wish. Okay, I'll see you there. Those of you who chose zero, this is a crystal clear yes for you. I don't know which answer you were searching for, but this answer is yes. We have foundation. Foundation is what the castle of your soul is built upon. Hematite will help open your root chakra, keep you well grounded and balanced. You might find that you're attracted to the color black for a little while. And this is going to be something that you are passionate about. And yes shows up once again. Kiss the ground and touch the sky. Your soul is set now to leap and fly. We have grounding suggested by both of these cards. If you have not been outside with your bare feet on the earth, and if you can, this might be a good time to do so or find a suitable solution. It is time for you to reach for the sky. I feel like you can accomplish what you set out to, no matter what answer you are looking for. So yes and yes. All my number ones. We have the advisement, reconsider. In the scorebook of life, this is not meant for you. And the heart chakra is showing up with love. Love is a verb, so make it your most treasured action. Rhodonite, what a gorgeous stone. Now, was your question about love? Morning memory. It's healing gift runs a desired course, the morning dawn, our inspired source. The advice here is to meditate under the sun. And is it a beautiful scene? I believe that if you heed this advice, you are going to come closer to getting the result you wanted. I don't know what your question was, which answer you were hoping for, but I feel that your perspective is going to shift just like the light in this depiction and more things are going to be apparent to you shortly. I love that the moon looks like rhodonite, just like the stone. You're going to have your heart's desire shortly, but it's going to take a perspective shift. All right, I hope this helps. Choice two. You are being instructed to listen to your intuition. You have the wisdom to know the answer to your own question. <laughs> Trust the universe. Intuition has wandered and led you astray. The timing's not yours, but the universe at play. 
have faith and breathe. Starting to see a trend here. <laughs> Peace in stillness, the answer will be revealed. Also pointing to intuition. If I have ever gotten three cards about intuition in a reading before in my life, this is something that you need to tap into yourself. So I'm getting that you don't have a yes here uh, or no. You have a maybe. And for advice, do trust the universe. It is divine timing. I'm thinking that this is a keep working on it message in manifestation. Um, and according to three cards, you already know the answer. I know some of you will ask me, was this a yes or no? And I'm telling you that this is better because this is the ability to change and form your own future. I hope that helps. Pile three, you are being told to get more information. You need to find something else. If something has been unclear to you, it seems you have read the situation wrong and the information is available to you if you just look for it. What a beautiful door. The Odyssey. Take in the beauty of country lands and botany. Explore the wonder like a gypsy traveler's odyssey. This could mean that springtime is going to be uh, a good time for you and something's going to be revealed to you then. But I also see that travel is going to be involved. Dreams. Dreams are where your mind translates the divine. Third eye chakra and Labradorite. That is a beautiful stone and it helps you tap into your intuition and receive messages. So this is basically the pendulum board equivalent of reform your question. I feel as if you have either asked the wrong question or misread something, and so we cannot really give you a true yes or no answer. You are missing a very valuable piece of information. And it might come to you in your travels or in a dream or maybe during lucid dreaming, since that is like traveling in your dreams. Um, and astral projecting. So don't be afraid to rephrase and ask again of another pile. Number four, you have the answer unlikely. And this may be something that you already saw sort of a stretch or even just pulling you a little too thin to receive a effortless yes. Um, and unless, of course, this is a happy no, still anything is possible. Anthony's call. In thanks of my spirit, safe and sound, all things that are lost, so can be found. This could be about something from your past then or something that you felt you lost out on. There will be signs to guide you on your true path. Third eye chakra, lipidolite. Not sure if I'm saying that right. So there are three potentials. This may be a happy no. Uh, all hope is not lost. Or you will be receiving something even better in the future. Expect some messages from the natural world in the form of signs, number synchronicities, things that will stand out to you and only you and have a certain specific meaning. I feel that something is returning to you, so I hope you're ready for that. Alrighty. Okay, number five. No need to worry. I feel like you have been protective of yourself, much like this little guy right here. And you are being reminded that you are protected and guided and nothing is here to hurt you. Dude's song, a reminder for even the most hopeless of lost cases, you can find peace within the strangest of places. That's such a beautiful, beautiful door. 
Again, we are being reassured that you are safe and do not need to stress about this question. And we have letting go. Letting go is not giving up. Sometimes it's the first step toward success. This is true if you know anything about accepting. You cannot do so with your hands clenched and hanging on to anything. You have to open your hands and let things flow to receive. Attracting works much the same way. This sacral chakra and carnelian being here makes me think that there is some sunshine in your future. I am not sure what your desired answer was, but you may be moving exactly in the right direction if you don't try too hard. This may mean quite a bit to you, but remember to hold on loosely to what you are trying to achieve, okay? I think you can get the answer you want still. Number six, you are going in the right direction. This is very positive. Heart healing. Warning now has had its time. Do not pay it a single dime. Emerge from the darkness. A new day starts. Let light embrace the healing heart. Oh, I feel like you have locked yourself away for too long and you need to go out and seek what it is you were meaning to find. Shine, isn't that magnificent? We have the light at the end of the staircase and we get shine. You are made of stardust, so keep sparkling. Solar plexus and mukite. What a beautiful stone. I hope I'm saying it right. I love when these cards come out in these readings because I know some people want a yes and some people want a no. So this is the happiest answer. Okay, if yes made you happy and no made you happy, then the one that made you the happiest is the one you already are going towards. Um, if you're one of those rare people that's happy either way, congratulations. I can't. I, please come back to my channel. I love that kind of positivity and that kind of attitude. Um, so I think you're going to get the answer that you were going for. If you just keep going, get out there and shine. All right? Okay, number seven. Not the right time. Was this question about a time frame? That sounds like a no, but it may depend on what you were asking. A note on love. Seek different seasons and enter into the unknown. When love is the focus, foundation, and goal, blessed is the body, mind, and soul. You are being told to seek what you love, open that gate, and get out there, and take yourself nearer to what it is that you enjoy. Fertility. Let your life burst forth from the seeds of creation, sacral chakra, and peach moonstone. It's a beautiful stone to be working with. Your answer is not yet. You must do more of what you love. I know that's probably terrible news, but that's what the advisement is. <laughs> yes, you can make that a life sentence if you'd like. Get yourself out there and you will receive the result that you are after. Now, if you just wanted to know a straightforward yes or no, on this one, I think I could go ahead and say if it had nothing to do with timelessness or time frames or anything like that, then I would say it's a no. Remember, I do recommend getting a personal reading for more clarity and do not take the advice of every reading you see on YouTube. All right. Number eight. This is the sign. I think this is terrific coming out with the number eight because it is like you are manifesting your own future and the answer to your question is literally in your hands and it will be flourishing. Patience. Everything soon will come to light and then you will see things will be all right. Oh, that's so cool. Intuition is the little thing that pulls you towards your light, third eye chakra and amethyst. So we have light and things coming to light and you are seeing signs in triplicate and there's this light here too. Wow, this is like 
the enlightened group. To simplify it, I am getting the intuitive collective response is a yes. It may not be for all of you though, and I do recommend getting a personal reading if you want more individual attention and clarity. In any event, I feel like you were looking for this sign, and here it is. Um, so for a couple of you, this might be no, and things will be coming to light. Okay. Nine. Your answer seems to be no, and this might prove to be transformative for you. I am getting a good feeling. Drawing down the moon, the forest nymphs dance in sheer delight, singing soft songs, find us in the wild good night. And that's kind of interesting with all this black here. Um, it does look like there is light at the end of the tunnel though. Something very nighttime about this question. Was this not a happy no? I am sorry to be the bearer of bad news for those of you who are looking for a yes. Um, but I think some people might be happy about this. Vulnerability is a sign of strength. Throat chakra and the sodalite gemstone. I feel like we're going to need to have to talk to someone about this. You're going to have to open up to someone and get this off of your chest. I also somehow know that this situation you ask of is going to look a lot better in the morning, no matter what answer you were looking for. If this was a happy no, then yes, you as well are going to have something wonderful coming to you on the new horizon. Okay, I hope this reading helped you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give a thumbs up. And until next time, have fun.